G'day guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to show you guys how to replace the oil sensor on your 2002 to 2005 Honda CRV. Now this is our replacement one. Now there's an oil pressure sensor OPS006. Um, I bought got this of a automotive store online um, in Australia for $16. So they're not overly expensive. Um, but the reason we're replacing ours is because there's oil leaking off um, behind it. Now it's normally mistaken that the um, VTEC solenoid gasket leaks. We replaced that, replaced the gasket on that um, and we found that something was still leaking. Um, and then we figured out that from just underneath where the VTEC solenoid gasket is, we've seen in a second, um, there's the oil pressure sensor right underneath it. It's got like a little plug um, that sits on it and that was covered in oil as well. So we kind of, we we're replacing both, we replaced the VTEC solenoid gasket and now we're going to replace this as well. As you can see, all it does is thread into the block and you've got the little sensor part on the back side of it. You've got a little sensor side on the back part of it, literally just clips in. Now this is a 24mm deep socket. The reason you need a deep socket is to get past this little sensor part. A normal socket won't go past it and you'll end up damaging this socket, uh, this little uh, sensor on the back side of it. So you need a 24 deep socket. It's very easy to get to. I see a lot of people saying that you've got to jack the car up, remove the um, driver side wheel or the passenger side wheel if you're in America. I can literally just reach past the side of the motor there reach over, unplug it, um, and it's a 24mm deep socket, and away to go. I'll show you exactly where it is. It's right down there, um, just underneath the VTEC solenoid. Um, very easy to get to. I didn't find it too difficult. Um, it could be a little bit tight, so just take your time. Um, it's on a little bit of an angle, um, so you just kind of have to reach a bit further back, kind of under it. It's very easy, very simple, and very straightforward. I don't know what a lot of people do, um, or find it hard, but for a $16 part, it's worth replacing. Now I did take mine out um, originally and it was filled with some sort of gasket glue um, so someone's tried to not replace it and just kind of um, cheapy kind of budget budget fix it. Um, so we took that out, cleaned it um, and it's still been leaking so we just bought a new one from um, eBay from the automotive parts store in Australia um, and for $16 it's not a big deal anyway. I'm going to show you guys how to pull yours out, replace yours. Um, Let's get on to it. Alright, now the one we'll be replacing is this one just here with that little rubber boot on it. It's right underneath the VTEC solenoid gasket. Uh, VTEC solenoid. So what it do is pull that plug off, which looks like that. Just pops off. It's a little rubber tab. And you can see the 24mm nut that goes into the block there. It's covered in oil. So let's pull that out, change it, let's go. Now before you actually take the sensor off, there's oil behind it of course, that's why it's leaking. So it's a good idea to either get a rag, a puppy pad or something um, to put underneath it. There's like a little arm there, a little cross member. Just pop it on there, that way it's not just going to soak down and sit on like um, your exhaust and all that sort of stuff for it to burn off later. So just put a little rag there because some oil can come out when you pull that sensor out. Okay, just push it all the way down. Find a little arm there to rest it on. Voila. There you go. All out. You can get a new one. Now, it's a good idea when you get a new one, just get a little bit of oil on the tip of your finger. Just rub along that thread. That way it seats in properly, just like you do with an oil filter. It's just a good idea with a new thread. Uh, that way it seats in. Also check on that block as well, just rub your finger around it, make sure there's nothing there. It makes a nice tight seal when you put the new one back on. So pretty much just refers to the process of putting it back on. We're going to put a little bit of oil, um, so it just makes a little bit of a nicer fit when you go put it back on. So that's pretty much it for today guys. Um, if you like this video and it helped you, please leave a like and a comment. Um, and I hope it fixed your little oil leak problem in your oil pressure sensor. 
Very easy, cheap pass to replace. Don't overlook these. They can leak, but very cheap to replace. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.